Hey guys, you ready for another one where I'm an idiot? I gotta move some stuff today. It's my wife's only day off, and you can't really see it right now, but it's kind of snowing. It's 36 degrees. And well, I gotta ride that somewhere. So, uh, let's see how, how she starts. Like a charm. Alright guys, let's go put this in the storage. destination I got my brother holding the camera uh, if you don't think it's cool oh my I might have broke the camera it's like thermal backwards it's cold it's cold I don't know if you can see it but there's ice all along here yeah see that GoPros and that don't add up so I'm gonna winterize pull the fuel out of this and I'll catch you back at the house you're gonna warm up real quick hold on well to have more room in my garage something's got to give this obviously isn't going outside this is so I got a basketball hoop grill the whole nine yards I got just you ever want to annoy your neighbors? Instead of using a jack and going down the road, making all that noise, just take your daughter's basketball hoop and move it to the other side of the driveway. Well, every dog in the neighborhood's barking now. Should I take Jack down the driveway? Or down the road? I think I'm Never mind, too cold. I don't want to do that. Well, that was a dumb idea. Huh. Huh. Man. Have kids, they say. They'll leave tools outside. Huh. People weren't lying about how sensitive GoPros are. But the one I have right now, this one right now, I've been shutting off. Uh, it does not like the cold. Hopefully this one lasts a little longer. 
Let me clean you off there. That's my other one. Well, I've got you up close and personal. Huh? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I may look a little groggy. Look better? Look better? Uh -huh. uh, spiffy up. Good, good. All right. I was trying to set you up because I got to move this chassis out of the way so I can get the money pushed out and over and whatever. And I stopped and looked at the GoPro and it's all negative, if you want to call it that. I don't know what you want to call it, but uh, yeah. I gotta move that over that way. So I'm just whoosh, over there. And then this will go in, over here. No, I'm not gonna drive it because I won't winterized it already. So, yeah, let's get to that. Strongest man. I lifted a car. filming getting money out my battery had bruised it's not even that cold I filmed in colder last year it's fine thank you oh 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 That hot rub muscle. I know. Sooner it'll be like. No, no, it won't. No. All right. Look at that thing. I know, I know, I know. Still a long way to go, but I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, man. This is just 70s, just obviously. Just, oh. You and Matt, oh, I just gotta shoot. Imagine you're just sitting at a light and you just hear a rumbling right in front of you. And then just, you, you look up and you guys don't see it, but oh man. Just the jacked up rear nose real low to the ground, just, 70s 70s all the way just oh. what it looks like on camera is just not what i see in person in person i'm like picasso 
perfect. Oh man, I know it doesn't, it, 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 it's gonna get better, trust me. I think I should leave it right here so I can walk around it all day long. I'd never get anything done. Man, I'm just stepping, stumbling over all the stuff that was underneath of the car. Oh man. Yeah, it's only half the car, only. But it still looks so good. Oh man. I'm gonna get ahead of myself and wanna do the front end without doing the rest of this, those, and the floors, and whatever else. But, for right now, man, I'm just, oh. Words can't describe it. They really can't. It's just. Oh. Thing is, I've never car saw this car in this good a shape. I know, I know it's a bunch of different panels, and it's not all the car that I saw as a kid. But deep down inside, it is to me. Just look at this thing. Like, I don't know, but I'm kind of stuck on this stance. I, I kind of, I'm not one to have a raked out car, but it, this car is just screaming, do that. A lot of people be like, car was screaming for a junkyard, but we passed that and we brought it to my house. Man, it's only countless more hours of work. Sometimes you just need to sit on your engine box. Hi, I'm Jeff and this is Bottom Six Customs. So, before I move this any further or do anything else with it, I think I'm gonna call it a night and go in um, and hit it hard tomorrow. I got a lot done moving the money and swinging it around in a driveway with two car dollies by yourself is fun. But, I'm tired, I need a shower. I got work in the morning and I wanna do this shit tomorrow. Back on another day, the temperature has dropped below my IQ level. Um, so I gotta get some heat in here. Now, you can barely see my breath in here, go outside, it's even colder. It's about 20 some degrees. Um, yeah, and I tried to clean up my garage, then I brought more stuff into it. So, I mean, I'm just win win. I'm gonna... Feels a little bit warmer in here actually. After I got the heat on, there's a bunker underneath of where I'm at right now. And well, last year I used to blow the heat up here. As soon as it would heat up and shut off, it lose heat real quick, or relatively quick, whatever. Now, hopefully, not shooting into the bunker, the heat will heat the floor and slowly seep through and get up into here and keep them warmer, longer. But, well, that being said, I'm gonna cut the braces out of this so I can get ready to work on the floor. If you're ready for that, I'm not, but you are. I, I don't know. Maybe we got that backwards. I don't know. Just watch.
That's one. I'm leaving the door bars in. Whatever you want to call them. I'm leaving those in. And I'm going to leave one side to side for right now. Uh, because obviously I'm going to have the floor cut up. I don't want it to move more than it has to. Or more than it should. Whatever the way you want to look at it. Alright. With that brace being cut out, I got room to work here. I have two patch panels. One for the back. One for right here. And I gotta make part of the floor here because instead of buying the whole sheet that was on back order, or whole pan that was on back order for a couple months, I'm gonna do it this way. It's gonna take some effort here, but at least I can get the worst part of it done and out of the way. Uh, that might be another video. Um, I don't think I'm going to run it in this one because, well, we're making moves. I didn't get as far as I wanted to uh, in the past couple days. They've just been hectic um, and haven't really been able to get out here. So uh, I just really wanted to give you guys an update that it's coming and more stuff's gonna come because i have an empty spot in the garage right now but as of right now um i did accomplish some things with marshall uh we got a bigger air compressor so i can start use utilizing the air tools that i have um no i don't have cordless i have air but uh i do have a bigger compressor now um I got heat, obviously, uh, and I got room in the shop. So that was the most important thing to accomplish. Got that done. But um, I think over Thanksgiving Day weekend, or Thanksgiving weekend, whatever you want to call it, it's a four day weekend, three if you take away Thanksgiving. I'm going to come out here and I'm going to bust this out. I need you guys to hold me to that. Gotta like the video. Comment. Whatever. Do whatever you have to. To let me know you're interested in this. Or not. That's fine. You're just gonna see some fat, dumb guy. Working on stuff. Well, doing all this little stuff. And so on and so forth. Um, I've got the car where I want it. I can get around it. I'm not fighting for any room really right now. Um, I can definitely, definitely get a lot more done and not be so procrastinating towards it or frustrated because I have to just squeak by it or anything. It's the centerpiece in the garage now. And guess what? When they come to this spot, they don't leave this spot until they're done. And doing it by myself, it's gonna take a while, so I need to hustle. And it's cold. And I need more diesel. And, well, I want to go eat some chili. Uh, I didn't do much today. The past couple of days, I've taken care of four kids and mom working afternoon and me working day turn. I don't get out here until late at night and it's small stuff that I get done. Uh, but I plan to hit it hard after Thanksgiving and uh, hang out. In the garage mostly maybe go buy 15 gallons of diesel and just burn through it for three days and don't leave the shop until the floors are done do you think you guys could come back and watch a video of me doing that doing the floors by myself you know what you're gonna have to subscribe to see if that happens or not or I'll just bring him back when it's all done. You gotta let me know down in the comments down below. But again, I gotta get inside. And well, I don't think. I'm gonna close the door on that one. And I'm gonna go get some chili. Oh! And as always, it's your project. 
do it your way. And this is how I'm doing mine. Adios! Chili time! Chili, chili time! Hold on, hold on, I almost forgot. Uh, hold on. Do you have a 2011 to 2000 and whatever year cruise? And you got problems? Well, come on me. Because I do. Do you got problems like I do?